Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my show. This is Why is Tiffany So Talented, the show where I show you exactly what it is that I do when I'm not making your shea butter soaps, your hot cocoa bombs, or your custom face masks. And this show is always about the dress, and <laughs> there it is. Let's get into it. I got some baby blue velvet up here and I'm going to make some really pretty lines with the velvet that's gonna go all like this and twirl it around and it's gonna be a blue ice masterpiece. So what I am doing with this dress right now is Cutting these velvet strips out of this beautifully rich velvet fabric to make my design. Check it out. So this is the pattern that I came up with for the front. It's gonna be cute. Still working on the back, but the back is gonna have swirls off the edges. It's gonna be cute. So this is what I came up with for the back. It's looking very ethereal, very fairy-like, beautiful. I cannot wait to glue it down and start stoning. So I got all the front glued down. It's very pretty, very pretty. And the back is very dramatic. You know, in ballroom, you always want to make the back dramatic. And in smooth gowns, even more dramatic. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Now let me glue it down. Okay, so I am done with gluing everything down. The pins are out. It's looking very beautiful, very fairy-like, very ethereal. I just love the ice blue velvet. It's so smooth and pretty, but there has been a change of plan because the client is coming in to do a fitting, so they don't want me to start on my stones until the fitting is over, so I get to start this one. <laughs> So what I intend to do 
is to take this color here and maybe just frame out one side of the velvet because I want to keep some of the velvet exposed because it's just so pretty and also I cut them with my rotary blade so they're really nicely cut and when they're nicely cut like that you can leave some exposed bye Natalia that's Julia's mom but yeah so that's what I plan to do let me start with this frame very long fringe and we will check it out when I'm done with that this is the pattern for the frame that I came up with it's giving Ursula vibes with the pearls but we're gonna disregard that and just see the beauty <laughs> so I have these cushion cuts here framing just one side of the velvet and all different kind of blue tones this one is a blue zarkon this one is an aqua this one is an aqua AB and then pearls it's cute, right? It's very much giving me tentacles from an octopus with the pearls, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm just gonna continue with this frame and I'm just going to continue all the way around up top. I actually have placed pins in some of them because let's sell. So let me explain. So the blue ones where I have the blue pins in placement are going to be this cushion cut pattern. And the ones that I have the red pins in for placement, it's going to be this pearl pattern. And then the rest are just going to be sporadic in the flat backs that I'm using. So. I have this aqua color. This is the aqua shimmer AB. This is the blue zarkon. These are the cushion cuts there. And two sizes of pearls. I don't think I'm going to use any of those pairs or any of those. Okay, so I finished the frame in the back with all of the pearls, all of the cushion cuts, all of the flat backs, and I actually found some smaller cushion cuts. See them there? So I was happy about that. All of that is done. Now what I plan on doing next is adding some crystal and AB inside the new empty pieces. So I want to use some specialty stones and then spray out with the flat packs. It's going to be gorgeous. Just wait on it. So this is what I end up doing on the nude mesh. Just a really heavy sprinkle and then fade out to a lighter sprinkle. And then I have these really cute squares and I decided to frame some of the velvet strips and I think that is going to give it just the pop that it needs. I love it, I love it, I love it. Be back soon. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my show. This is Why is Tiffany So Talented, the show where I show you exactly what it is that I do when I'm not making your shea butter soaps, your hot cocoa bombs, or your custom face masks. This show is always about the dress, and here it is. <laughs> Let's get into it. So this is the progress that I made on the dress yesterday. I pretty much got all of the framing done. I went in with these cute little cushion cut rectangles and just kind of inside frame just a little bit of it. Let me give you a better example over here on the bus line. 
see how I double framed it there and I'm kind of just going really heavy in the points and sprinkling out on the nude mesh so that is what I am getting into today not too much talking more working today is Friday and I want to have this video up by Monday so I will be done and it will be gorgeous check it out so I finished the back well, the mesh panel on the back. And it's looking very ethereal, very, very tail yumminess. I love all the swirls and the pearls. It looks like it's just caressing the back going up in this way. I love it, I love it, I love it. I have some of, let me show you of these I want to put them just in some places like here just where it'll pop but I kind of don't want to put anything heavy on this mesh I don't know we'll figure it out maybe I'll do them in the blue good morning good morning good morning good morning and welcome back to my show. This is Wise Tiffany So Talented, the show where I show you exactly what it is that I do when I'm not making your shea butter soaps, your hot cocoa bombs, or your custom face masks. This show is always about the dress, and my hook is empty. <laughs> so I don't even know what my next dress is going to be, but I can show you the one I'm working on now. Let me let you get into the back of this dress. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the way the frame just accentuates the back. Look, I see me in the mirror. Yep, still losing weight. Still getting cute. But it's not about me. It's about the dress. <laughs> but it's cute. I brung it just a little bit over the shoulder. This is where the connection is. If you can see the clips here. So this whole panel peels to the side. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can't wait for you to see it on. I will insert the clip of the lady when she came in to do her fitting before I added stone. Did you see her? Doesn't it look good on her? Doesn't it look like it just fits perfect? Especially the way that I got, I did the swirls on the back and with the stones now, I added an extra more fairy tale, ethereal kind of element with the flat backs framing the velvet. I don't know, I just love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's gonna be so cute when it's all the way done. So, as you can see what I'm doing is going more heavier toward the center, well, toward the tip, and then spraying out lightly. Same with this one, and then spraying out lightly. So all of these extra mesh panels here is what I need to do that too. And I definitely plan on finishing today. 